Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cedric and here I'm going to be discussing my first semester in review of my computer science master's program. Now from the top, it's been very exciting because I've been learning a lot, although there's a huge learning curve. It's a little bit overwhelming, but I'm glad to be able to engage in all the different types of content that's been offered through this program. Now, just as a reminder, I'm a student in the online Master of Computer and Information Technology program at the University of Pennsylvania. This is essentially an advanced degree for non-computer science majors. So I took two courses in my first semester. The first one was the intro class, which was intro to software development. And the second class was intro to computer systems. Now for the first class, I really enjoyed that class. It was essentially an intro to programming class. You learn Python and Java, and I was able to work on a lot of assignments. And what was actually really cool was that as I became deeper entrenched in computer science topics, and especially with Java, which can seem like a very scary language, I was very surprised by how much I learned and actually at how confident I was in learning these languages. A kind of big turnoff for me initially with computer science a long time ago was the idea of coding and seeing the syntax of programs like Java or something along those lines, maybe C or C++, seemed really scary and it felt like I couldn't understand and how will I ever even get into this topic myself? But thankfully, I was able to learn a lot, even more so than I've done in the past on my own. And one thing I can say is that it's definitely rigorous. So what that means is the coursework is going to require a lot of effort that you put in, that you're not just passively gaining knowledge, but you're actually having assignments or exams where you're actually going to be forced to, you know, replicate what you've been taught so that it ensures that you have a deep foundation in whatever topic you're learning about. Now, the second course was also very fascinating to me. It was about computer systems and learning about a computer and basically computer science from the bottom up. However, towards the end, around mid-October, I felt like I took on way too much, more than I can chew, and I had to drop the course. It was kind of disappointing because you put in a lot of effort in trying to learn the concepts but it is known as one of the most difficult core courses in the program. And now I understand why that's the case. So I plan on retaking it this semester, this upcoming semester, and hopefully I'll have a better experience. And it can seem like a disappointment or a failure that I dropped it, but I just think of it as redirection. I know where I'm at right now and what I'm capable of, especially trying to learn online and through this different program, different course, and totally new material that I've never encountered before. So I'd encourage you if you're either in a computer science master's program or thinking about joining one and enrolling in one to really think of how much coursework can you take? Is there a part-time option? Is it flexible? Is it available to meet your needs so that you can get the most out of it? Because at the end of the day, it's for you. You're not trying to impress or signal. It's really for you to learn all those fundamental concepts and really help you in advance in whatever career you're going to be going into. But just some brief notes. It was uh, nonetheless fun to take those courses. It was actually very surprising to see how much I can engage with other students and with other staff about problems or questions about coursework and content in an online setting. Now I want to switch from coursework to the actual, I guess, student experience I've had so far with this program. And I have to say that it's been really great. One thing that I'm very impressed by that I've hinted at earlier is just the amount of engagement in the whole program, whether it's from students, faculty or staff. I think I was pretty impressed by the whole, not only online aspect, but just the willingness that someone will go, whether they're reaching out to you uh, and messaging you, or it's on a project together, or it's just offering advice to one another through this whole program. Now this can take many different forms. It can be in being part of the student association, or you create your own channel or group within the program where you can just discuss, whether it's on Slack or LinkedIn, something like that. 
but even actually having opportunities for students to teach and come back for those courses that they just previously took. And it's that last one where I really took up that opportunity. And furthermore, I became actually a teaching assistant for the introductory course that I took last semester. Now, I think that's a very cool idea because you just kind of have this loop of, you know, students just being more engaged and helping the newer students or different students. And it just becomes this whole kind of environment where everyone's trying to improve the entire program experience. And just to end it off with, in terms of engagement of this program is just a lot of the feedback um, that the staff and directors of the program really take account for when it comes from other maybe staff or students. And it really shows that this program has been really developing for a long time and for a very positive effect. One thing I hear constantly, which I'm curious if other programs uh, really go by this, is that um, this program continually evolves. And I've heard where just the previous semester is almost like a different kind of setting. And that now it's just improved upon and it really takes comments to hand and to heart about what will be beneficial for this course, how can this be better for students, and how can we improve the reach of this program for everyone involved. I will say that I'm very happy that I've been enrolled in a master's in computer science program, and specifically this one, the MCIT online program at the University of Pennsylvania. Whether it's rigorous coursework or student engagement, I'm really excited and I look forward to what this program has to offer and what opportunities I can really take advantage of. And for me, that's the best part, you know, not knowing what to really expect and just being really excited for what the future has to hold for you and your education. Anyways, those are just some brief impressions from my first semester. I just have a little experience, but please let me know down below what you would like to hear in the future or what you would like to see. Anything that I can help you, I would love to really just develop content for that. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Cedric. I make videos about education, lifestyle, and growth, and specifically documenting my academic journey through a master's in computer science. If any of that interests you, please consider subscribing. But anyways, thanks for watching.